Welcome to my channel, Crystal here. Today's workout is a 10 minutes, 10 move, classic core workout to lose your belly fat for your upcoming bathing suit season. Let's start with lying on your back, knees bent, shins parallel to the floor. Lift your head, shoulders, and chest up. Suck your belly in and firm it up. Arms on the side, palm facing down. Start to pump up and down. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three. Inhale, one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three. Very good. If this is your first time to try this move, your neck might feel a little bit stressed out. If that's you, lift your torso up a little bit more and trying to firm your core muscles a little bit more. With the strengthening of your abdominal wall, your neck will get relieved. It takes time, but don't let the string of the neck hold you back. You will get through it. 20 seconds to go. Now last 10 seconds. Slowly release your head down. Hold your legs at your chest and relax. Now extend your legs out, arms over your head. Big inhale. On your exhale, slowly roll up. Sit tall, arms to the front, then with steady pace, roll back down. Arms overhead, roll up, one, two, three. Roll down, one, two, three. Up, one, two, three. Down, one, two, three. Excellent. I remember at the beginning of my workout years, I always trying to avoid the core workout because it is the toughest ones for me. I'd rather do one hour yoga flow but skip 10 minutes core workout because my core muscles are so weak. But as I get older with the natural increase of the waistline, strengthen the core muscle become the necessity. A stronger core will not only physically look fitter and younger, it also helps breaking the fear of inevitable aging. What is your thought on the core workout? Leave a comment below and let me know. Time is up, relax down on the mat. The next move is single leg stretch. Hold your right knee close to your chest, lift your head up, create a stable starting point. Hover the other leg, then switch and hold the the other leg to your chest with the core muscle as your only anchor point. Move with your own pace. Draw your knees into your chest. Intentionally engage your core instead of your neck to build a strong core and flat belly. How are you feeling now? Is it hard for you? You can do it and you will feel better and better. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Release. Very good. Our next move is double leg drop. We're gonna give the neck a break. Insert your hands under your butt. Try not to arch your back up. Inhale, lift both legs up with control until your legs are perpendicular to the floor. Then flex your feet, steadily release them down towards the floor. But without touching the floor, lift them back up with the help of your core muscles. Incorporate with your breathing. Inhale, lift, one, two, three. Exhale, down, one, two, three. Inhale, lift, one, two, three. Exhale, release down, one, two, and three. Very good. Now last 10 seconds.
slowly release your legs on the floor and relax. The next move is side twist. Let's set it up. Roll up with control. Lift your shins parallel to the floor. Lean back slightly. Create a stable base. Move with steady mind and steady breath. Twist to the right with your arms reaching out to the right side. Then swing the arms to your left side. Twist your torso, not just your arms. Shaking is fine. Extend your arms as long as you can, straightening your back as much as you can. Keep your legs up in the air. It must feel very hard at the beginning. That's why we are practicing it. The more you practice, the stronger the muscles will become. Working out is the best way to build a stronger mind to embrace the challenges in your life. It not only helps you lose the unwanted weight, but help you fight against the adversity in the personal life and professional life. You become more resilient with better self-control. Now back to center and slowly release down on the mat. We're already halfway down. Time flies fast, even when you are not feeling great, isn't it? Let's move on. Next is touching the toes. Legs vertical to the mat, feet flexed. Extend your arms in front of you and try to reach your toes. You can increase the challenge by pointing the toes to create bigger gap in between. Reach, reach, and reach. Awesome. Last 20 seconds. Let's reach the last time and hold it here. Three, two, and one. Now release down gently. Awesome. Extend your arms over your head. Inhale. On your exhale, roll up with control. Next move, leg circling. Elbows on the mat under your shoulders. Legs straight. Lift them up in the middle. Then swing to the right. Circle back to the left. Your feet are not touching the floor. Go as low as you can and move with your own pace. I want to check on you. How are you feeling right now? Feel strong or completely stressed out? Either way, you give yourself a chance to a pretty intensive workout to build your strength to the most critical part of your body, the core. On the physical level, the stronger core can relieve back pain, increase the blood flow through your whole body. On the mental level, you're empowering yourself for a stronger mind to take things back under your own control. Move with joy and grace. Very good. Now legs to the middle, then gently release down to the mat. Our next move is elbow cross touch. Interlace your hands behind your head. Inhale, exhale, bend your knees and lift your opposite elbow touching the knee. Inhale, back to flat. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, elbow touch. Exhale, lay flat. Try to engage your core muscle to connect the knee and the opposite elbow. Straighten the other leg on the ground to build a stable base. It is okay to not touch the elbow every time, but to work towards it. Practice this move in seven consecutive days, you will definitely see your progress. 
Our body is an amazing machine. A few minutes a day will have big impact on the body. You will get rewarded with increased energy and improved health. This is the smartest invest we can do as we getting older. Now release down, arms overhead. Inhale, roll up. Then turn your belly side down. We're moving on the side plank twist. Set yourself up with standard plank on your palms. Shift your weight to your right palm. Then circle your left arm up to the sky. You can pivot your toes to support your move. Left hand down. Back to plank. Then raise it up again. Side twist. If your wrist is not strong enough, do this move on your elbow. This move is also strengthening your arm muscles while toning your core muscles. Keep a straight line from your heels to your crown. Now move on to the other side. Shift your weight on your left palm. Then twist and lift your right arm to the sky. Look up to your hand. Slightly pivot your toes if needed. Move with your own pace. Make sure your arms form a straight line from the top to the bottom. Inhale, reach up and twist. Exhale, back down to plank. Now gently release down to the mat. Feet flat. Now come to our last move, plank hold. This is the classic among classic. Elbow directly under your shoulders, on your toes. Lift your torso up. The key of the plank hold is to tuck your belly in, butt down. Everything is in line from the top of the head to the heels. We're gonna hold it into this pose for one minute. To some people, holding still is harder than moving around. If that's you, hear me out. Stop thinking you're about to collapse down. Think about you are getting stronger, leaner, and fitter. The first time you might be able to hold only 10 seconds, but with practice, you will be able to hold 20, 30, even longer time. Your belly will become flatter. The bathing suit will look amazing on you. And the other clothes will look so much better on you. Nothing else will control your body. It's completely under your own control. You will become stronger and healthier. Now we are done. It is not that difficult at all, right? Release down on the mat, on your hands. Push yourself up and come to child pose. Split your knees wider to the side of your mat. Sit back on your heels. Extend your arms towards the top of the mat. Forehead touching the floor. Inhale. Extend your arms more. Exhale. Sitting back to your heels more. Very good. Take a few deep breaths here if you need it. Then come to your hands and knees. Then sit up. This is the end of today's 10 minutes, 10 moves, belly fat workout. I hope you enjoy it. Challenge yourself to practice it in the next seven days to see a stronger core and a flatter belly. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like and comment below. Share how you feel. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'll see you next time soon. Bye.